listened to your heartbeat, to your breath. Both are always there, just like the rivers and oceans across our planet. Without either's consistency, all would cease instantly. Take a moment here on your mat today to consciously reconnect with the most seemingly basic functions of your body. Pay attention carefully and give space for your own profound intuition to speak to you. Because everything that your body needs, it will always ask for. We just rarely create the space for it to be heard. This is your class, your next 15 minutes, for you to find from it exactly what you need. And I want to thank you for joining me here on Playa Chiquita in Costa Rica and ask you to take a moment and thank yourself for gifting yourself this precious time. It's time to roll out our mats together and flow. Welcome friends, beginning seated at the center of our mat on your knees or in seated position, let's raise our hands mindfully to our chest and begin with a few conscious breaths. I'd like you to take them at your own pace, but slowly and mindfully, paying attention to your chest as it expands and your lungs as they deplete and exhale. Listen to your heart through your hands, feel your breath in your lungs, and focus all of your attention on this moment here, this practice that you've gifted to yourself. This is the beginning, and your breath will act as the thread to pull you back here, no matter where your mind may wander. On your next exhale, let's drop our hands and move ourselves to the bottom of our mat into hero position on our knees. Mindfully, staying connected with our breath, let's inhale and raise our hands way above our head, stretching up to the sun, the sky, the ceiling, whatever is above you, and hold here for a moment, stretching, reaching up, and then exhaling and slowly bringing our hands down to our heart. Excellent. Bringing our hands down onto the mat in front of us. Let's fold at the hips, bending at the waist, and bring our forehead down to our mat into a basic child's pose. Take a note of how you feel with this first pose. What's going on in your mind? What's your body telling you? And extend your hands if it feels good in front of you, walking your fingers to the front, stretching those shoulders and arms, breathing consciously, staying with yourself here on the mat. No matter where your mind goes, use your breath to bring you back to this present moment here. And if it feels nice at this point, you can rock a little side to side in your child's pose, deepening the stretch in your shoulders and arms. Or, if your body's asking for stillness, that's perfectly acceptable too. This is your practice, so once again, give your body what it asks for. Breathing in, and exhaling out. Excellent. Now let's slowly come back up into seated. Let's take our first downward dog by walking our hands forward across the mat and lifting our knees up into the air so we have four points of contact, hands and feet. Feet hip width apart, hands shoulder width apart. If you'd like to keep your knees bent, if that's more comfortable, 
like this, that's perfectly fine. But find the level of bend or straightness in your legs and take this first conscious downward dog coming back to your breath and just listen. Beautiful. On your next exhale, let's walk our feet towards our hands at the front of the mat, keeping bent at the waist, coming into a forward fold. It's nice to keep a micro bend in the knees if that's more comfortable for your legs. And let's grab our elbows with the opposite hand and slowly rock side to side, allowing your knees to micro bend, letting gravity do most of the work as we twist slightly just from side to side, rocking with our breath. Now dropping our hands down to the mat, bending our knees a little more for some back support, let's slowly come up into Samastiti by opening our palms to the front of our mat, pulling our shoulders back, pushing our pelvis just a little bit forward, breathing consciously with our chin up and our eyes closed, reconnecting, listening, feeling. And on your next inhale, Let's raise our hands up to the sky above our head and exhale folding down towards our mat as far as feels comfortable. Inhaling, coming halfway up, straightening that back and exhale, extending your right leg to the back of your mat, dropping that right knee and inhale, slowly coming up, lifting your arms to the sky. Exhale, dropping your hands back down to the mat and inhale, lifting that left foot up, coming into plank. On your next exhale, knees down, then chest, then chin. That's your knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Then slowly and mindfully inhale and raise your upper body up into upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck your toes and come back into your second downward dog of the practice. It's okay if you'd like to bend your knees slightly like you did the first time, or if it feels good, straighten the legs and drop your heels closer to the mat. With each exhale, see if you can bring your chest down towards the mat as well and just breathe. Beautiful. Let's walk up to the front of the mat again and come back up into standing. With a big inhale, raise your hands up above your head and exhale all the air out of your lungs, bringing your hands back down to heart. And let's do that again now on the other side. Inhale, hands above head. Palms together, exhale, forward fold slowly down towards the mat as far as feels comfortable for you. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, stepping your left foot to the back of your mat, drop your knees, and inhale, bringing your hands up above your head. And take a second here just to check in with yourself before you exhale and bring your hands back down to the mat on either side of your foot, lifting your knee, stepping back. You can either take your knees, chest, chin, or drop your plank down into Chaturanga Dandasana and inhale into your graceful upward facing dog. Exhale back into downward facing dog, keeping your knees bent if you'd like, or pushing those heels and straight legs down further towards the mat. Coming back to your conscious breathing here, just for an extra moment, filling up those lungs with each inhale and slowly exhaling all the air mindfully out of your lungs. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. And on your next exhale, let's slowly walk back towards the front of your mat into forward fold and exhale, bend the knees, slowly come up into standing and inhale, hands above head. Exhale, mindfully bringing your hands back down to heart. All right, inhale, hands above head, forward fold, exhale, hands down to the mat. We're going to start a lunge sequence here by stepping back with our right foot and bringing our right knee down to the ground. 
and then bring your body back up into neutral with your hands resting on your left knee. Now, if you'd like to deepen this stretch, you can push with your right hand into your glute and stretch out that hip flexor and psoas a little bit deeper. And on your next exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat next to your left foot and stretch your left arm up towards the sky, twisting at your waist, opening up your chest. To make the balance easier, you can flatten your right foot down to the mat. Beautiful. Now on your next inhale, tuck your right toe back to the mat and bring your body up into neutral, extending both hands out, one to the front of the mat, pointing forward, and your left hand to the back of the mat along with your gaze as you breathe and find peace in the stillness. Dropping your right hand back down next to your left foot on the mat. If it feels good, you can try lifting your right knee off the mat this time, but if it's not for you, you can leave your right knee back down and keep the same pose as we did before. And just like that first time, Let's slowly bring our body back up into neutral. Left arm extending back towards the bottom of your mat. Right arm to the front. Beautiful. Now, bringing both hands back around above your head, straightening your torso towards the front of your mat, find yourself in lunge. If your knee's still on the mat, that's perfectly fine. But if it's raised, try your best to find the stillness in your breath and gaze up towards the sky. On your next exhale, bring your hands back down towards the mat and step that left leg back into plank. You can knees, chest, chin here or go straight to chaturanga and inhale into upward facing dog and exhale back into downward facing dog. Wonderful. How is your heart beating now? Take a moment. And just check in with the physiology of your body. Do you feel your blood pumping a little bit harder? Do you feel the tingling in your legs and in your arms? Take a note and breathe. Coming back to yourself. Coming back to the mat. Let's take a deep inhale and exhale. Walk towards the front of our mats again. Back into forward fold. And come up into standing. Take a deep breath in, reaching your hands above your head, and exhale, bring them back down to your heart. Perfect. All right, inhale, hands up above head, palms together, exhale, forward fold, down to your mat. We're gonna do the other side here. So step back with that left leg onto your toes, dropping your knee down to the mat, and coming up into neutral. Hands both on your right knee, If you'd like to take this side a little bit deeper, you can try pushing your glute with one or both hands down towards the mat, deepening the stretch, feeling it in your psoas and in your hip flexor, or just stay in neutral, letting gravity do the work. Either way, come back to your breath here for a brief moment before we drop our left hand down onto the mat and twist at our waist reaching that right hand way up towards the sky and bring your gaze to your fingertips and just breathe. All right, let's come up into neutral. If you lose your balance just a bit, that's okay. It's all a part of the journey. If you're holding tension in your shoulders, just relax them down. Flip your palm of your right hand up so it can hold the gaze of your vision. Now drop your left hand down to the mat and reach that right hand up towards the sky. Lifting that right knee if it feels good or keeping it on the mat if that feels better. Just do your best to keep that left hand planted and your gaze to your right fingertips as we slowly come back up into neutral, doing the best that we can to keep our gaze to that right palm open to the sky. Holding here just for a moment in conscious breath and stillness. Let's exhale and swing that right arm around to meet the left, bringing them both up to find ourselves in lunge. If your knee's on the mat still, that's okay. If you need to take a break and drop the knee down, 
perfectly fine too. This is your practice, so do what feels best for you. Dropping those hands down to the mat, stepping your right leg back, take your knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga into upward facing dog. And instead of coming back to downward facing dog this time, I'd like you to fold back into child's pose, just like at the very beginning of this practice because we have come full circle. Now take whichever child's pose variation speaks to you. You can keep your arms extended forward or bring them back down around your body, clasping your fingers. But try, if you'd like, to add a little bit of motion, just like we did at the beginning, keeping your forehead flat, rocking back and forth. There's a rhythm in this with your breath. Find it. Beautiful. On your next exhale, let's come back up into seated position, kneeling on our mats at the bottom. And let's take one last mindful breath and reach our hands up above our head. And then exhale all the air back out, bringing our hands back mindfully down towards our heart. And as we wind down this practice, take a moment to just check in. How did you feel when you took that note at the beginning in the first child's pose? And compare it to how you feel now. Place your hands back on your heart and reconnect to that heartbeat. It feels so good to be alive. Breathing in and out. Thank you so much for joining me for this last 15 minutes here on your mat. I wish each of you the best rest of day and look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this beautiful class in Playa Chiquita, Costa Rica. If you like this class, we can ask one thing of you. Go down there, click subscribe. If you're already subscribed, like the video, comment on the video, share the video, do anything that engages with the video, and it helps us in return for what you've received here today. Other than that, if you'd like to take your practice deeper, click up there, Oho Beautiful Official. It's our app and streaming platform, and you will find almost everything we've ever done. Exclusive content, exclusive calendars, full length, the whole deal. We'd appreciate it so much in the bottom of our hearts. So once again, thanks for being here today with me. It's an honor to be your teacher and I wish you nothing but the best with the rest of your day. Love and light to you. Namaste.